Hi, this is David McCann from WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a look at a new development in the dispute between WP Engine and Matt Mullenweg. If you've been following what's been going on after WP Engine brought suit against Matt Mullenweg and Automatic, the WordPress.org for the free version of advanced custom fields that was available in the WordPress plugin directory, supposedly because of a security issue, and revoked the login credentials of the WP Engine employees. So they basically took over the free version of Advanced Custom Fields. Well, today I've learned that WordPress.org has also taken over the Pro version and made that available in the WordPress plugin directory. I'm here on the page of the free version, what used to be the free version of Advanced Custom Fields. You can see here in the URL, the plugin slug is Advanced Custom Fields still. If we scroll down, we see that it has more than 2 million active installs. This is the ACF free version. It was a very controversial quote unquote fork because not only did WordPress.org take the source code of ACF free, they also took the active users of ACF free and added them to their own version of the plugin. If we go down and look at the contributor list at the bottom, it lists WordPress.org, but it also has Elliot Condon, the original author, Delicious Brains, Ian Polson, WP Engine, other people who contributed. Well, if we go to the ACF website, we see they have a notice here that's saying ACF is no longer available on WordPress.org. It's forcibly been taken over, and you need to perform a one-time download of the latest genuine version of the free plugin. And after that, it will update from WP Engine. And then they have, as they've always had, information about the pro features, you know, it has a repeater field, which is very popular, ACF blocks, flexible content field, options pages, gallery field, clone field, and other features. And they have a link here where you can look at the pricing. Well, now here is the secure custom fields. Remember, the free version still says advanced custom fields in the slug. This is Secure Custom Fields. It's a new plugin in the WordPress plugin directory by WordPress.org. It was updated two days ago. It's version number 6.4.1 beta 2. It has fewer than 10 active installs. If we go down and look at the contributor list, it only shows WordPress.org. So what I did is I spun up a site on InstaWP. I downloaded this secure custom fields, this new version, 641 beta 2 by WordPress.org. It didn't show up when I searched for the plugins, so I downloaded it and manually uploaded it here. If we go to the plugin page and look at field groups, and we look at the field types and we scroll down, we'll see here it has repeater and flexible content, two of the features of Advanced Custom Fields Pro, as well as it has the ability to create options pages. This is the ACF Pro functionality now available as Secure Custom Fields. The next thing I did was I took a look at the source code. And this is the main plugin file in the root of the Advanced Custom Fields Pro directory. You see it says author WP Engine. And here is the code to load the plugin. If we go down to around 
line 230, we see include pro. And it's including ACF Pro, and it has some functionality to check for plugin updates with the WP Engine update system and to do a license check for ACF updates. If we go to the version for secure custom fields, you see the file name is still the same ACF.php, but this one. The header information says secure custom fields. It says the author is wordpress.org. There is no copyright notice in here of WP Engine's code, which is probably a problem. And if we scroll down to around line 230, here is include pro, that update check and license check functionality from the ACF version, that's been removed, okay? And because this is being downloaded from WordPress.org and hosted on WordPress.org, it'll automatically update from WordPress.org. So by removing the license check and update from WP Engine, this seems like a classic case of a nulled plugin which is now being hosted in the WordPress plugin directory. So I'm wondering if this is even a legal fork. I'm not an expert in software licensing law, but my understanding is you need to preserve the original copyright notices when you fork a plugin. It's one of the requirements. So that's the new development that I wanted to share with you. If you're familiar with the requirements of the GPL, do you think that this is a legitimate fork or is this just a nulled plugin? Please share your thoughts in the comments below the video or if you're on Facebook in the Dynamic WordPress Facebook group. Thank you for watching.